On your screen is a live view of Falcon 9, awaiting its 1.22 a.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Good evening and welcome to our launch coverage of Utilsat Hotbird 13F. Four, three, two, one. Engines full power and ignition. by stage separation, which as the name indicates, the first stage and second stage will separate. And then the second engine, that Merlin vacuum engine, will ignite for SES-1, or second engine start one. Everything continues to look nominal for the first stage. view of the M1D exhaust plume. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And there you can see that that MVAC has ignited, that nozzle turning orange and white. Those three events happening rapidly. The first stage there on the left-hand side of your screen and the right-hand side for the second stage. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Next major event is fairing separation occurring in t about 10 seconds. You can see the Space Coast in the distance the background of the left-hand side of the screen. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's our first look at the UTELSAT Hotbird 13F payload. Now those fairing halves that we just separated, uh, we will be attempting to retrieve them again uh, once they fall back to planet Earth. We'll be using our recovery ship, Doug, to do so. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. We're at T plus four minutes into tonight's mission, and we're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns uh, prior to satellite deployment. The next event, first stage entry burn, will occur at about T plus six and a half minutes, and you should be able to see it on your screen. 
For that entry burn, we'll relight three M1D engines, starting with the center one, engine nine, followed shortly thereafter by E1 and E5, which are two of the eight radial engines. That burn is the first of two planned burns and will slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now stage one has to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which helps us uh, to recover and reuse it. Now during that entry burn, Falcon 9 is de decelerating by firing those Merlin engines, as I mentioned, uh, but it's still moving rapidly. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also called the rocket's plume. As such, a thin layer of soot from Falcon 9's carbon-based fuel, kerosene, uh, is deposited on the exterior vehicle surface. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Now, for those that might not be familiar with why we land our rockets, reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical science, scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that's supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the third time. As I mentioned earlier, it previously supported a Starlink mission as well as a cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station, uh, CRS-24. So we're expecting that entry burn to begin uh, in under 20 seconds, excuse me, under 10 seconds. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. So there on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see those three M1D engines have relit the center engine and two radial engines. We expect this to last for another 10 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. All right, we heard the call out that stage one entry burn has concluded. As I mentioned, that is the first of two burns that the first stage will perform. Everything continues to look nominal for the second stage there on your screen. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Cut off one. I'm back, shut down. All right. we. We started to see that that MVAC nozzle was losing that bright white glow, indicating we had a second, second, engine, one landing burn. second engine cutoff. And there on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see that the first stage has begun the landing burn. Nominal parking orbit. Heard good orbital insertion there for the second stage. Stage one landing like deploy. landing confirmed and there you have it that landing marks spacex's 147th recovery of an orbital class rocket including first stage landings for falcon 9 and falcon heavy